Hi everyone and welcome to White Skies Wisdom. Today I'm doing an unboxing and unbiased review of these new cards I've got. Art Oracles, create, creative and life inspiration from the great artists. Now the box itself is in really sturdy. On the side here it's got change your life with art, consult the oracles today. Now this is a 50 card deck. On the back, it gives you a bit of a description on how to use them. The spiral is life, so if you're asking a question about your life. The pencil is work, once again asking a question about work. And the eye is in inspiration. Okay, let's open these up and have a look. Okay, inside, Guide to Art Oracles. Now this is a really thin book. Quite thin. Okay, so these aren't numbered cards, but they go through the great artists of time. So Leonardo da Vinci, Francesco Goya, William Blake, show you there, J.M.H. Turner, beautiful artwork, very colourful, and they give an indication of the actual artists themselves in each picture. Michelangelo, Vincent van Gogh, that beautiful sunflower. William Morris with those swans. Henry Matisse. Absolutely beautiful nudes there. It also shows you when they're alive. So 1872 to 1944, Pierre Monirin. Pablo Picasso lived in Spain, 1888 to 1973. Yeah, so a little bit of a write up about each person. Frida Kahlo, love her works. The good old Andy Warhol. Okay. So let's have a look at the cards themselves. All right. Andy gets pride of place at the start. So I'll open these up. There we go. Now the box has got a really good feature actually just before I open these up. It's got this piece of ribbon which I find really helpful pulling the cards out of the box. And once again a very sturdy box so really good for storing your cards in. Yeah, I'll just get this plastic off. So the cards themselves once again. Good size, easy to hold in your hand. Very sturdy card again. Quite an intricate pattern on the back. So there's Andy Warhol. I pronounce that um, 
a wee wee. That's probably not right. <laughs> Albert Durer. And they go through. Very nice. So if you're into artists, this is a fantastic deck, really good. So for example, I might want to ask a question about my life. Like, how's today going to be? If I were to pull this card and it suggests design your days, don't plan them. So I decide to, yeah, for, for go planning and come up with a creative thing to do in my day. When it comes to my work, um, it says aspire to profound practicality. So you really get down and practical. Either today choose what you'd like to do practically or find practical um, ways of dealing with any work problems or issues that might come up. And then inspiration. I want to be inspired today. I pulled this card. Be unbending in your flexibility. That's great. Absolutely love that. So, of course, be incredibly flexible. As flexible as I can be. Look at things in, at a flexible, bending way. Choose flexibility in everything I do today. Cindy Sherman. Great. Look at that. Feeding the baby. So life, don't be yourself, be yourselves. The many personalities. For work, tell the truth in every fiction. So yeah, if you find that there might be lies or something going on, see if you can find the truth in it today in your dealings with people or situations. And if I want to be inspired, Take a good long look in someone else's mirror. I'd take that as look at um, things from different people's perspectives. Really quite informative. Very nice. Damien Hurst. Diane Arbus. Edvard Munich. Munch, sorry, excuse me, Munch. So yes, perfect, perfect for anybody who's into art, oracle cards, tarot cards who wants inspiration in their day. A beautiful bird. Georgia O'Keefe. I like this one particularly, it's caught my eye. So the life lesson today would be nature can keep a secret. When it comes to my work, keep Freud guessing. And when it comes to an inspiration that I might want to have in my daily um, dealings with people, you can't run away from yourself. But running away from others can be quite productive. So this is my quick, unbiased review of these beautiful art oracles. As to be expected, the artwork is absolutely beautiful. Jackson Pollock. The life. Meaning doesn't come with titles. Work. If fame finds you, keep working in spite of it. That's a really good thing to know. I like that. And then inspiration. Chaos is handmade. Yeah. We create our own chaos. Everything is a projection of our own selves. Here they are. Oh, balloons. So I think no matter who your favourite artist, I'm sure you'll find a card for them in this deck. And even if you don't have a favourite artist, I'm sure that you might discover an artist that you really like just flipping through these each day. Michelangelo, one of the greats. 
No compromise is a good compromise for life. For work, blemished origins do not negate flawless conclusions. And inspiration for the day, become ill with unhealthy perfectionism. And he was incredibly um, a perfectionist. His artworks are second to none. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to have a look at this um, unboxing and review of these beautiful art oracles. And I'd like to say thank you once again. And if you'd like to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and wishing you all a beautiful day filled with art and inspiration. Goodbye.